Battle lines are forming again in the Georgia legislature over the issue of so-called religious freedom. Senate Republicans have introduced a bill that its backers say is designed to protect people of faith. Opponents say it opens the door to discrimination and it hurts Georgia's business reputation. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. This time, Republican State Senator Marty Harbin is the sponsor of a bill to provide for the protection of religious freedom, a bill he says does only that. And what problem with well, religious freedom are you trying to solve? No, no I, just, I just think this is it. I want to bring protection for the people of Georgia for their beliefs and their religious rights. Harbin says his religious freedom bill may not solve any existing problems, but will prevent future ones. The measure has its roots in Congress in 1993, when Democrats Chuck Schumer and Ted Kennedy sponsored a religious freedom law signed by President Clinton. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down part of it. 19 state legislatures responded with state versions and little controversy. But when Arkansas and Indiana passed state versions in 2015, critics said it was in reaction to the growth of LGBT rights, including gay marriage. In 2016, the Georgia legislature passed a religious freedom bill that Governor Nathan Deal vetoed, citing concerns about discrimination and the state's business image. It does actually open the door for people to say that they do not want to follow non-discrimination policies, non-discrimination laws, uh, if, they, if they feel that it's in conflict with their religious beliefs. Jeff Graham says a religious freedom law in South Carolina backed the decision of a faith-based adoption agency called Miracle Hill to discriminate against Jews and gay couples seeking adoption. When he ran for governor, Brian Kemp said he would sign a narrowly written religious freedom law similar to the one introduced by Senator Harbin. Harbin says he hopes Kemp will have an opportunity to sign it. Graham doesn't. I hope that it does not get to his desk. Uh, certainly if it would get to his desk, I hope that he will uh, govern wisely as his predecessor, Governor Deal, did. Harbin's bill will probably pass the Senate. Its prospects in the House are less clear.